Yep, so get ready. Down here in the bottom right, we have... Kick time B. Yeah. Ooh, look at that keyboard. That is a it's handsome all red. keyboard. Man, ooh, styling. Yeah. Over here in the bottom left, we have our blue Terran. He is... Kick time B. Yeah. A less handsome keyboard, but not too bad. Yeah, it's just, you know, your average kind of keyboard. Yeah. Not a fancy guy. Thank you, Intel, for sponsoring this event. And thank you, G-Skill. Yeah. Might as well be G-G-Skill. <laughs> Dude. Barracks here at the entrance. This is a map where you don't get a ramp. You don't get a high ground. You have a fairly large berth into your base. Yeah. Now, uh, Chuck is going to feel pretty comfortable with where he is because he's the same spot as he was against Rainbow. But this time we have the Terran player pull a lot closer. And that's going to be really good for Polt because Polt likes one base and two base attacks. We don't so often actually see Polt go for a third or a fourth base. Yeah. So he's going to be very happy with the positions when he ends up scouting them. Now, TBZ, this is again a very big map. Check style seems to be one of pure defense until the center of the mid game. Yeah. Right when you know you get your layer up and you're just making all your tech. And he gets a third base, defend, defend, defend. Then he immediately leaps. He transitions yeah. into a, you know what? I'm going to control the map. I, I want to say that Check kind of likes to play like Fruit Dealer. And like Fruit Dealer, occasionally he will mix it up and do some crazy uh, all in ish type stuff. But not as much as for either, you know. He does yeah. try to play a more controlling game overall. The drone gonna go over and scout what's up. What is up? A double gas build by Polt. Mm. And he's not gonna know that. He will not know. He'll never he'll, know. He'll be in the dark. He'll never know. He'll never ever he'll know. He'll die not knowing Artosis. Someone tell me. I need to know the truth. Just go watch the VOD, dude. No, someone tell me. <coughs> A factory is on the way. I wonder. It's. Hmm. I am really wondering what build Polt's going to do here. I could definitely see a Banshee build coming. Maybe a Banshee Marine build. You know, you harass with Banshees and then just go a lot of Banshees, a lot of Marines, and attack. It's a very powerful one base strategy. And it can catch Zergs off guard. Well, you know, it's smart because this is such a big map. Zerg is sitting there looking at this map with dollar signs in his eyes saying, I am yeah. going to win this. It's a big open map. Uh, Terran might be, might as well just say to himself, well, no, you know what, I'm actually just going to mix it up. Yeah. I'm going to throw check off. I'm going to do the unexpected on this big map. Now we have a Roach Warren making. Does scout the Zerg expand, as I'm sure you assume would occur. But only one star port. So it looks like we're just going to see a one port Banshee build. Okay, no, never mind. Going. He's making Rutt a siege row. tank. <laughs> oh, Tasis. <laughs> what a strong scoops. <laughs> Zoinks. Uh, so, SCV, nice back and forth there. It looks like he, did he manage to get in there? No, it was killed off. Well. Yeah, oh, okay. It's going to be, I don't think he's going to get a raid with that. I think it's going to be Banshee, Siege, and Green. Yep. Now, this is an actually Dead a build on. that during the beta was extremely powerful. Really, really, really powerful. Like, I'm crying on MSN every day about this build and raging out on Twitter about this build. And you're like, oh, you guys don't understand. The Koreans have this build. It's so good. But we haven't really this seen it This is a build I never then. experimented with. I know. Even though I it think looks I may like have a build, I never do the Tasis build. Uh, the original one against Zerg. That was a TVP build. So. And those poor roaches getting some bruises on their behinds as they run away. Ouch. And uh, yeah, so I'm excited to see this build, but Baneling Ness on the way, Speed on the way. Uh, yeah, this is, it's just, it's a very hard to get the right unit combination in time to actually take this out. And 
I never did figure out what the perfect unit combination for the timing of this attack was. Normally it was just a combo of roaches, lings, maybe a few banes, and some queens. And that is like a haphazard rant. That's like throwing everything at your phone. Oh, he check spots it, see. he spots it. And check actually. Wow. That is really good for him. They scouted that. Um, throwing up spores, that's interesting. Spore and free. And he wants to get the queens in a certain position. Oh, whoa, 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 miss control. Got to remember that spore crawlers and missile turrets and cannons see further than they can shoot. And look at this. He's got siege mode on the way. He's going to be able to actually siege up the span if he wants. And nice spine crawler gets a hit on the tank. The tank has a little bit of damage on it. And tasteless. Uh -oh. this this timing oh, is actually way quicker than anything I've seen with this build. Yeah, this you is wait nice. for quite a few more units in this, so Check may be able to actually destroy this easily. Uh oh. Yeah, he's going to wipe this out with no problem. There is still yeah. a Banshee present. It's um, going to do a lot of damage, but, you know, the push is what's supposed to work. Is, I think he expected Check to do what Check would normally do is take a third base around now. And this is actually really weird to me because this is. That unit combination is something, as I was saying before, I saw a lot during the beta, but you wait for a lot more than that. So that you have this critical mass that's very, very good, you know? You might have four or five tanks, four or five banshees, and a ton of marines, and you go. And it's something totally different. But uh, he went really early. Check absolutely raffle stomped it. And, I mean, that was that was basically an all-in build. Yeah. I mean, put everything into that. It did zero damage. This is a situation where, I mean... If your opponent is in the same league as you, you're not going to recover. Yeah. Now remember, Check normally loses his games. Um, oh my god, this queen's going to die. Okay. I was going to say, Check normally loses the games by his own fault, not necessarily due to his opponent outclassing him. Yeah. Check's a very, very good player. Um, and Bolt just continued with the attack, but hey, Zerglings are coming. And awake all your ground units. So the Banshee's really the only thing still doing damage here. The Spire is almost done, Tasteless. And I gotta say, these Banshees are actually doing a ton of damage, Arctosis. They are. They're actually hitting the hatchery right now. It's at half health. I don't think they'll get it, though. This Queen should pop out, kill one Banshee instantly. Uh, I don't know, actually. Then, I think oh. they actually is gonna get it. No. And Can he kite it right, though? Is the Overseer there? Yeah, there is yeah, an Overseer. there is. Where is it? What? He ah! might get it. Oh, I can't believe this. Oh I my god. I cannot believe what? my eyes. Okay. He actually just killed okay. Check's hatchery. You know the moment when you're playing online and the guy just leaves and doesn't type GG? This is one of those moments. <laughs> and he's raging at his computer. He's like, no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's no, how I they do it, right? It does this. Oh. Uh, this is normally where I hold the shift button, because I don't use caps lock. I hold the shift button and say yeah, something that's derogatory. How, that's how I rage out. If you're a boss rage quitter, you don't hit caps. No. no caps you lock actually is for, push the shift button Caps so lock down. is for X-17ers, okay? Yeah, that's for nubs. I'm all about holding shift. But you got to hold shift down. Push your pinky into the shift key so hard when you're typing it. You are garbage. And I am so much better than you. <laughs> exactly. Well... Well, the mutas are out, Tasteless. And Bolt somehow has made the game <laughs> somewhat even. This is, it's just, it's so shocking to me because it looked like it was going to be just a free win for Czech <laughs> after uh, he held off that attack. But, you know, when that Banshee with one hit point killed his last queen, man, <laughs> it was. <coughs> I mean, that's a little bit lucky, I have to say. That's like some funny math. That's just like the perfect Someone's storm. like, you want to see some funny math and show you some, some set of equations and they graph and it makes a smiley face? That's what just happened to those queens for that Banshee, man. Well, you know what's funny is think about the psychological uh, shift here. We have Polt failing with his all-in and being like, oh, damn it. Man, I'm not going to move on. Then, check loose his, uh, his, his hatchery, excuse me, and being like, oh, my God. I am losing my hatchery while the world watches after I stopped it all in. Yeah. With Tasteless and Artosis casting me in a tournament sponsored by Intel and G-Skill. 
That's this what he was thinking, That's exactly. what he said probably out loud in his booth. That's probably why he lost the hatcheries, because it took him so long to sail that. I know. It's probably the case. Well, Pult Prime making a ton of units right now. I think he just wants to hit a strong timing attack. Probably a good choice for him, because Czech is making a lot of units right now. He's got that third base going up. Going to want to drone that. Well, Czech um, has returned back to the position he's most comfortable in, which is mid-game macroing. He's going to have to throw aside the emotions he's feeling right now after losing that hat trick. Well, as we see Holt about to move out, his Banshee still terrorizing the little Zerglings around the map. Ending their lives before they can grow up into Ultralisks. I know, they're just kids, man. Just children. Well, Tasteless. This is a fearsome attack. He's up for. Yeah, these three Baneling Banshees. speed is on the way. 17 Banelings, RB more from the middle. Uh -oh. Now, here's the beautiful thing. Check can flank this. Look at all those units right there. And look at all those units right there. He's what absolutely going to try to sandwich. But a good position for Pult right now. Oh, nice. Snap call there. Takes out that Banshee. <laughs> snap call. Snap call. Hey, snap you to action. <laughs> now we have the Siege Tanks getting in range of the hatchery. Oh man, if he loses this hatchery again, this location, that's going to be so bad. Ill-fated hatchery takes He us. will attack right before the hatchery will die. The property value of that expansion is dropping. This is the Zerg Ghetto. Oh, whoa, he's got to be careful. A big mistake there. Yeah, the Holt losing a lot right here to these mutas. This is a pretty sloppy attack. What's the but hatch? He's going to get the hatch. He's yeah. going to lose the hatch. He's definitely going to lose it. And check the, the sides. It's gone. time. He just lose the hatch. But he got a shot at it. It's gone. Yeah, he did lose it. But still going to kill off all these units. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Goodbye, Marines. I can't believe he actually timed that out so poorly that he lost the hatchery, though. Yeah, you know, I think, I think he was Czech waiting. I think to fall apart, man. Yeah, it's it's getting pretty cold favored here. I mean, Czech just keeps losing the base. It's surprising to see. And, oh, no. Oh, no, he's going to lose the oh, Judas. Oh, no, and the Overseer. Not the Overseer, but... Yeah, the Overseer, too. The Overseer, too. Sorry, Tase. I know you didn't want to see him die. I don't. Um, Life is not fair. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's full of sadness and sorrow. Yes, suffering. Sometimes it's full of excellent GSL action. That's true. For you guys at home, that's exactly it's what it's pretty full good, of. But it's not good for Czech right now. He's in a bad position. Right now, the supply is 105 for Pole, 86 for Czech. Nice little counterattack here. I'm trying to pick off some reinforcements. This is exactly the type of move he has to do right now to slow down any attacks of his opponent. No upgrades on Pult's units. Oh my god, Czech I think is actually getting close to losing this man. Yeah, that counterattack was bad. He has uh, not a lot of creep tumor presence. He lost at a hatchery twice. Well, you know, he does have some things going for him. He does have plus two melee attacks, so his Banelings can do a lot of damage. Yeah. He's uh, reduced the tank numbers drastically. Killing that one tank, I think, was actually maybe worth all those Zerglings. Because now he, on the creep with speed banes, he may be able to kill these Marines. And if he can kill the Marines a few times, let his third base get up, then uh, maybe Chuck can get back into this somehow. I mean, it's a long shot, but we'll see. Third base for Pole Prime after he's very, very far ahead. Getting more far ahead. Check transferring a ton of drones. Well, this is pretty bad. Uh, he's losing the creep tumors. The Siege Tanks are actually in a good position where you can start to poke with the Marines and try to pull uh, bait the units in there. The bait bait his oppo opponent's units towards him. Excuse me. Not articulating myself right. Uh oh. Oh, nice. Nice grab there. Oop. Only three mutas. Oh, not very good micro on those mutas. In what fact, are these no Marines doing? Oh, he's going to oh, lose he that. Gets it. He should have been unloading while he was moving. Ouch. And definitely going to lose that, but will be able to take out the Marines. Actually, he might actually save his head. He needs to target by the head. Oh! Wow. Four hit points. There's one <laughs> Marine left. And it's got six hit points left. He didn't target that Marine when he dropped it. You know what? Book, 
I gotta say, this is not the cleanest game we've seen, but it's definitely one of the more awesome ones. Uh, it goes to show you a game doesn't have to be perfect for it to be epic. It's pretty awesome tag though, Jesus. Not for check though. It's been it's been a pretty upsetting game. More banelings are morphing. Green count is quite high. Oh man, banelings had just a time. Wow, serious baneling, Miss Micro here. I'm getting really worried for Check's sake. Looks like Check is gonna GG any second here. I think you're right. Losing all his drones. Drones attacking. Oh my his god, rings. this is actually I'm sad right now. He played so well, he stopped the all in. But you know, like like we said, Check is a guy who oftentimes defeats himself and boom, peace. Yeah. GG. GG. Man, oh my god. We gotta see. I wanna see Check's reaction here. He's like, whoa. Paul's like, whoa, I won that by the skin of my teeth. He's showing his teeth right now. See a skin on them? No, you don't. That's no, you how don't. thin that victory is. Yeah. Uh, check, on the other hand, it's got to be upset. Oh, I feel bad for the guy. Um, nom, 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 nom. Uh, this is, well, a brutal moment here. It is a brutal moment, Tasteless. Uh, but, well, check. He should have probably won it. It was so close. It really did come down to the fact that the Banshee killed Queen with one shot left. Yeah. If the Queen had killed the Banshee with one shot left, then Check would have won that game. It was like one of these strange modes where it's like you have two hourglasses that are that have different amounts of sand that are different shapes, and you watch them <laughs> both run out. You're trying to figure out which one is going to. You know what I'm talking about, right? I, that happens to me all the time, Taste. I can't it, believe you brought that up. I'm good at metaphors, Dan. <laughs> you are. I'm good at a lot of stuff, okay? I'm sure a lot of people can relate to this one. Um, yeah, no, it's really, if he had just gotten the last shot on that Banshee, the hatchery lives. He has an extra base that whole time after stopping that all in. Instead, you know, suddenly his expansion, he's even with Holt, and Holt's in close positions and already did so much damage to him. Wow. This is so sad. Everybody who plays a lot of StarCraft has had that game. Yeah. We're like, oh, I got this. He lost by and then the speed like, of a queen shot. This It's like the it's perfect quick. scenario. Oh, we're, we're going we're gonna to go to break. A, a break, guys. We'll be back. So uh, we'll be back soon. Nothing else to say. See you soon.